Yeah, we're in the kitchen, of course. All the nitty gritties that's been shared there. Thank you so much, guys, for that informative session. Now, moving over to something a little bit more special for me uh, when it comes to nutrition. We've got the perfect meal lined up. But before we do even get into it, let's talk about something else. There are so many people, of course, without food on the table and who are walking around hungry in this bitterly cold weather. Now, Woolies has made a plan to help and, of course, they have an aim to distribute one million meals to the people that are most in need. And with under 190,000 meals to go. We are so, so close to reaching that incredible goal. And of course, when it comes to these food care packs, each one is filled with a balance of protein. It's got fresh fruit, it's got vegetables and all the other staples that are needed, as well as a hygiene products, which are uh, just, just there to kind of help curb the spread of COVID-19. So for as little as only 10 Rand, you can provide one person with three meals for the day. And all you've got to do, of course, is scan the QR code on your screens right now with that SnapScan app or your banking app and donate whatever you can towards filling a bag and of course as you've seen on the show all this amazing amazing work that we're doing can help make such a huge difference so remember to encourage your friends your family your neighbors colleagues and everybody in your whatsapp chat groups to get involved and do the same thing oh we are so so close guys and it's been such an incredible campaign to be a part of and oh, 190,000 more meals what an incredible achievement ah but anyway speaking of meals we're yeah. moving over to something a little bit more special i'm joined by chef clem himself we're doing veggie steaks which are officially a thing and uh, you should hop on board this train, I'm telling you guys, you're not going to want to miss this, especially all those uh, banting enthusiasts or carb conscious enthusiasts out there. So it's a great way of turning a relatively budget friendly ingredient into a delicious treat. And this morning, Chef Clem is making cauliflower steaks with a dash of parsley, oil, and some grilled broccoli to steak up. And uh, oh, I think we're adding some white beans and red onions to that as mm -hmm. well. So mm, lots of flavor, lots of magic. Let's get it started, Chef Clem. I'm so excited. This has been like a staple for me. Yeah. Broccoli is like the dieters like number one and this know, has been know. made the king of like banting the collie yeah, the collie yeah full yeah. of fiber it fills you up but it's actually like a almost like a negative cull we have this like weird theory in the gym world where uh -huh. you when you're eating something you actually burn more calories consuming it okay. than they are in the food substance itself so it's and like that's cauliflower well, cauliflower is wow, really close to okay. being one of that very really low in calories, yeah. but it's got high antioxidants. Mm. It's got good minerals, and of course, the the fiber is just the good stuff that you need to kind of get you regular. Yeah. So we're keeping we're keeping it meat free now. But this this is great on its own as a, a dish on its own. But you could totally add your favorite protein to it. Add a steak, add a piece of chicken, add some fish. Fish, actually, the beautiful, delicate flavors of fish that go so really beautifully with these veggies today. Okay. We'll be playing this game behind the scenes. Honestly, there should be a show behind the scenes on Express. We're having so much fun this morning. <laughs> we're talking about if you were an ingredient, what would you be? But I'm gonna like, ask you now, if you were a vegetable, which vegetable would you be? You're on, if I was a vegetable, what vegetable would I I'd be an eggplant. Oh, wow. Yeah. Juicy, yeah. thick, it's yeah. full of nutrition. Can we it's stop in the back? It's going to love you smooth. <laughs> Yo, I love it. <laughs> All the jeans, man. In, Come on. In the background. Okay, okay, okay. It's seeing, it's seeing, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, cat to the background. I don't know if we can get a camera on cat back now. loves cat, eggplant. Okay, maybe cat can even shout. Cat, if you were a vegetable, what would you be? You can even shout it. I'll, I'll tell the people at home. Mia, yeah, hey! I don't know! Cat doesn't know! Cat He's so no. strong! Who's eggplant here? I think. Mean, Who's I mean, eggplant? <laughs> no, no, no. It was not. Me, so. me, I'm, a plan, me I'm a plantain. He's a plantain! <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, I the intentions were good. Why are they going to say eggplant? Like, obviously, we're going to get Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Yeah. I'd love to find out what the rest of the team would be if they could be a vegetable. Absolutely. Maybe we can find yeah. out from them a little bit later. In South Africa, at home, if you were a vegetable, seeing if we're talking about veggies with a dish, what would you be and why? Let us know on social media yeah. on this post. I'm so interested. I'm so interested. You should, <laughs> if you can, add a picture there and you might even be able to stand hey, like, hey, I'm, a, hey, I'm a swagalicious hey. eggplant, man. Look at me, mm, old eggplant and things. Wow. No. <laughs> <laughs> Clear, we're gonna make some steaks. Let's get back in the kitchen, okay, man. Back let's, into go, the let's go, recipe. let's go. <laughs> so what I've done is I've chunked up my broccoli, cut them into like kind of steaks. Now, I know that sometimes you cut it and it kind of breaks the flour to break off, which is perfectly mm. fine. Those are also delicious. Add them to the dish as okay. well. But what you're looking for is a nice chunk of broccoli like this. Okay. And you do the same with the cauliflower. But I'm going to show you two different methods of cooking it. The first one, I built a little bit of oil on the um, broccoli and then I put it down on a griddle pan. That's going to get nice and like charred. I'm going to serve that with some white 
beans. White beans okay. are really, really great. I don't feel we eat enough beans. Mm. Beans are great because they keep you fuller for longer. They, they, it's, it's the good stuff, right? And also, like you're saying, when we're having a meat-free dish like this, beans are such a good source yeah. of protein. Absolutely. So get I some agree. mung beans, black beans, white beans, anything like that. It's going to provide you with that nutrition and a lot of the amino acids that are lacking from something like a steak, which you don't have in here. So, of course, guys, all these tips, all this incredible information, Absolutely. find it on expressoshow.com. So you taught me about using olive oil, especially because for men, it increases, it helps with the production of testosterone? Yes, 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 it does yeah. do that indeed. Are we using it again? We are. So a little bit yeah, of olive oil gone to the it. pan. Then what, I actually need your help. I've got some parsley. This, okay. is for the, this is for the cauliflower now. I've got some parsley and I've blanched it. And what that does is it locks in that green color. Then I've added it to a pestle and water. I'm going to give you a little bit of oil. This is actually almond oil. Oh, but you can snap. mix it up with olive. I've got the olive oil here, almond, almond oil here. Oil taken from almond nuts, yes? Yeah, wow, absolutely. Stunning. And I need you to kind of just grind it up for me. We're going to make like a beautiful almond and parsley oil so that's for uh, you I think I can do a yeah. good job of grinding this man yeah so the olive grinding the them greens onion. absolutely <laughs> so good. You get that extract of that fresh green yes. color coming out yes butter's gone into the pan with the onions then we hit it with some anchovies Oh, now, okay. if you don't like anchovies, it's because you haven't had it the right way just yet. <laughs> These are so good. When you cook them correctly, the fishiness comes out of it and it adds that umami to a dish. That savoriness that really makes us want more. That's going in there, so we're going to create the this. The way you said that really makes me want more, so throw it in, man. Throw, throw it, it in. in. That's going in there. <laughs> and again, anchovies have got those good oils, those, those omega oils in there. And we need those as well, right? Yes, 100%. The good fats, the good stuff, they keep us lubricated, keep us fresh and keep us Love moving. Love it. Indeed. Love it. Ingo, those beans I spoke about earlier, and what's going to happen now is those beans are going to suck up the flavor of the anchovies, of the butter, of the onions. They're going to become so flavored. And like, the thing is for me, when kids don't like veggies, I feel you just got to get creative in the kitchen. Play around with the flavors. Make a broccoli more than a broccoli. Make a cauliflower more than a cauliflower. And then the kids are going to become obsessed with veggies. And the veggie. fact that you also, on that note, Clem, just talking about like steaks. Yeah. The fact that you're not calling it so much a veg anymore and you're talking about it as a steak, mm -hmm. I'm sure really changes the perception of food. And we have this perception as a kid, I think, that veggies are ew and they're not so mm -hmm. lacquer. But I think that's old school. It's so and old school. With all these incredible ways and creations and, and, and I think just uplifting the vegetable to make it just taste differently is what kids need to re... I think it's just changing that... It's like a paradigm shift, I think. Yeah. Just changing the perception of veg. I mentioned it earlier as a joke, but I really feel like kids need to start having fun with their veg. It should be the main meal and the dessert and all the other stuff is... Yeah. is, is it should be flipped around completely, I think. 100%. We also live in the best country in the world yeah. for so many reasons. One of the reasons for me is being a chef, we don't bring in all these amazing vegetables and fruits from other places in the world. We grow everything here under the African sun. Our veggies, our fruits are next level. No other, no other country comes close to the veggies and fruits that we grow here. So getting your kids involved and loving vegetables is an absolute must. And this is how we do it. So let's Beautiful. talk about it. I can see the vibrant yeah, color. Yeah, yeah, Let me yeah. just show Got you the you. vibrant green color of that parsley oil. That is so amazing. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Good Thank skills you. there. <laughs> so let's talk about what I've done with the cauliflower. So cut those into steaks as well. Popped it in the oven for a little bit just to char. Then I sprinkled some parmesan over it. Ooh, we nice. know broccoli and I mean, cauliflower and cheese is yes, such a great combination. Yes. Once, that, once the parmesan goes nice and crispy on it, you're done. So I'm going to take your beautiful oil right now and I'm going to spoon it over. And again, this is just so vibrant and green. The colors are amazing. That's going on there. We can hit it with some fried capers. Capers Ooh. are delicious. They're salty, they're briny. Yes. Funny story, once kids get used to them, they can't get enough of it. <laughs> it's delicious. We, I, like, I keep this in the pantry at all times. It's so, so, so good, so delicious. A little bit of extra parmesan just to finish that off. So you've got the crispiness in the cheese. We've got the base from the yeah. cauliflower, that charredness. You've got this, the, the saltiness from the capers. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the, uh, this is just turning into a flavor infusion. And of course, and white beans looking like the they're white ready beans. To go. I'm gonna move it over quickly because I just want to get some of these beans onto this plate. I'm okay. gonna move my plate closer as well so I don't mess. So there's two unique ways to serve your veggies, and I love it. The beans just are so good. Again, serve this with your favorite protein if you want, but the beans do add that protein and they do Definitely. bring the flavor through. Definitely. Also, when you do serve your beans, make sure you use a small spoon. So it's difficult for you to actually get quite a lot on the plate. <laughs> That's a nice little carb conscious tip there as well. That's no, so cool. I'm not a <laughs> Okay, cool. So we got that on. Beautiful broccoli, nice and charred. That's going down. I've got some mint. Mint goes so well with veggies as well. And you think it's normally for desserts, but yeah. nah, it works so well with your savory ingredients. What else do I need here? I've got the extra parmesan on there. Let's see. That's beautiful. That's all we actually need. One thing's missing, my friend. Tell me. 
my knife and fork. Yes, you know what? <laughs> you just go caveman style. You just grab that whole stick, you put it in your face. But yeah. Yes, guys, well, there you have it. It's an Look at that, you're doing way. it. Yes. I got to do it, man. This is yours. Way forward. It's a meat free Monday. Look at this steak. Ah. Oh. A brinjal. <laughs> a brinjal. Exploding my mouth. Thank you.